bless the Lord of my soul. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. So today, our anchor scripture comes from the same Matthew 6, but the title of our message is Do Not Worry. And this one is also speaking to myself because I remember sometimes as a believer, well, the Bible tells you in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, you know, it tells you rejoice in the Lord always, you know, give thanks in all circumstances, and, you know, also cast your anxieties unto him. But... In, I've realized that even as you're born again, like for me, I would say my walk with God has been so personal. You know, like for me, it's like he's just teaching me through things. You know, he's like, Obren, okay, don't worry about this. And it, it literally like brings in some situations. It's like, you see why I was telling you not to worry, you know? Because I remember those moments that you're like, hey God, how will this even happen? You know, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. But then most of the time I've realized, and he rebuked me the other day because I was like, oh God, things are not happening, this and this. You know, at this age, I'm supposed to be, I've, I've done this, you know? Like, it gets to a moment like thoughts just begin to, to run through your, your mind, you know. But then he comes and tells you, when well, you're still complaining and worrying, you know, there's nothing that is moving. Instead, it's like he's just folding his hands, looking at you. Uh -huh. Continue. Until you stop worrying and complaining, I will not move. And actually, the moment I just stopped and I, I, had, I had the Holy Spirit speaking to me, telling me, I am your father. Do not let your heart be troubled, but put my trust in me. Why are you not worrying? The birds of the air. They never saw nor reap, I take care of them. You, of all the things, don't you think I care about you? Don't you know that I know what you need before you even ask me, you know? So it leads us to Matthew 6, 25. And this scripture tells us, this is why I tell you, never be worried about your life. For all that you need will be provided, such as food, water, clothing, everything your body needs. Isn't there more to your life than a meal? Oh God, isn't your body more than clothing? You know, like sometimes you worry about small, small things. And you wonder if you, who knows how to give good gifts, as a father, you know how to give good gifts to your children. If your child tells you, hey dad, hey, you told me that if I get this and this and this, you'll buy me a PS. These are my results. I passed. Where's my PS? You see, even you as a father, you have conditions. And if your child obeys them, then there's a reward for it. But why is it then that when you come to the father, we want the rewards, but you don't want to fulfill the conditions. You're like, hey, you're sure that applies in this generation? Ah, it's only Zakitambo, you know? But remember when you look at the, the story of Noah, in the midst of all those chaos, all those, you know, homosexuals, you know, a lot of things, corruption. Noah was a faithful man. And he was, the Bible says that in Genesis that he's a, he was a man who was righteous and who was walking in the ways of God. And he, he never bothered to see that, ah, you know, my generation, everyone is lost. Everyone is following their own desires of their hearts. You know, everyone is after money. No, he knew that the word of God says this. And I will follow this and I will stick to this. You know, because the Bible says, let every man be a liar, but let the word of God be true. And that's why the, the scripture remains scripture. The word of the grass with us, the flower fades, but the word of God remains forever. That's why you find that this, the scriptures that were, were preached by Billy Graham in the 90s, up to date, it's the same, same scripture we are reading, meaning the word of God is alive. And that's why you see, even though like maybe perhaps your, your dad died or your grandmother or your mother, that those principles that that mother told you or that father told you, and you're usually like, right now it's been like 20 years ago or 10 years ago, but it still lingers in your mind. Hey, my mom told me when I'm facing this kind of a situation, you're not supposed to do this and this. Like for me, I remember before my grandma passed because she was very close to my heart. You know, and she told me, Obren, oh, there was a time I was going through a very difficult moment. I didn't know where school fees is going to come from. You know, I'm very bright. I have to go through school. You know, I mean, it was just a very dark moment. And she told me, she called me Nyakwara. Nyakwara means my granddaughter. Do you know what? In this life, there are so many things that will come to interfere with your joy. But I'll tell you one thing. Just know whatever situation that will ever come your way, no situation is permanent. It shall come to pass. You know, but when I need, I know it is very overwhelming. And you know, she just hugged me and told me, and whether I'm alive or dead, just always remember this, that whatever situation that can come your way, 
just know it shall come to pass. And I remember most of the time when I'm overwhelmed and I remember I'll be like, ah, but there everything is temporary. No situation is permanent. You know, and I'll just the moment I think about that, my moods will just come back to life. And this is something that God is really aligning me towards. So I also encourage you, like, just know that whatever thing you're going through right now, whatever situation you're going through right now. Just know that Jesus is with you in that boat. And he sees and he is in control. And at his own timing, he shall make everything beautiful. Because our lives can't be the same. My life can't be the same as Liz. My life can't be the same as Janot. No, we're all on different paths. But I'm going through the things that I'm going through right now. So that my life might be a, a testimony to somebody else. Somebody else might, know to, might, might come to Christ through the testimony of the situations that I've gone through. You know, because how will you ever be grateful if you don't go through the process you know just like right now i cannot give my 12 year old nephew a bmw to go with on the road i'll kill him so sometimes god withholds things from us because he knows obren you know what this thing will kill you hmm? if i give it right now if i give give it to you right now it will kill you because one, first of all you don't have the understanding for it you don't have the grace for it you know you don't even have the mechanisms of, of how this thing works will you be, be able to handle the pressure that comes with this miracle you know but uh, most of the time we find ourselves we are comparing our lives you get to social media instagram hey you're like hey father when will i ever find victory i'm here praising you you know, sometimes it can really be so dark. You're fasting, you're doing everything right. You know, but you're wondering, I will know who you lose. But yani, today she's come back with a testimony. The next day with a testimony. So they look at you and say, eh, you, you're always praying, you're always in church. What can we see? But the thing is, just know that time and chance happens to them all. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. But it makes everything beautiful in its time so today do not worry cast all your cares unto him he knows what you need he calls you my daughter he calls you my son you know just have faith and just be comforted knowing that he is a father and that every good gift and perfect gift comes from him father in the name of jesus we thank you for this wonderful message lord and we pray king of glory that you shall touch our hearts and you shall give us that boldness and peace even when you're going through these storms so king of glory you are wonderful and you are worthy we worship you and we give you all the praise for it is in jesus name we have prayed trusting and believe